I want to take the I out of illness, put in we, and create wellness. And wellness is a we, it's a community. It's about all of us coming together as a community and making a difference. To have a community like this step up and be one of the first to go out there and grab this as a topic and bring it not only to the community but to the students kind of gave it a voice. So New Albany cares about the health and wellness of its residents and you see it in the good work done by Healthy New Albany and the Wellbeing Initiative. Uh, these are grassroots organizations that started with caring residents and community leaders coming together to advance the health and well-being of the residents. I think what's great about this community, New Albany, and, and this health sort of like focus, and it's just not on mental health, but it's on physical health and mental health, and the, the holistic viewpoint. Having a community that actually focuses on different levels. There's something very special about this community. It's a culture we're trying to create here in Healthy New Albany, that culture of promoting well-being and having people feel good about themselves. Through the Jefferson series, the foundation is able to start a community dialogue where we provide a platform for health and wellness speakers to come to the community and then we can share the resources that are available to the parents and the families. So one of the roles of the foundation is to be a convener in our community and what I'm really excited about is that between Healthy New Albany and the school district, we're coming together to fashion a coordinated response to how we're going to continue this dialogue about mental health. So Marielle started the discussion. We hope to continue that in partnership with the school district and Healthy New Albany. New Albany's taken leadership in bringing the issues about mental health to the community forefront and uh, I think that the, the community really should be proud of those efforts. If anybody in here has read my book, you know that there was a very dark, painful time of my life. And if I can take that really dark, painful time and turn it into something good and help even one person, then it's worth it. The new frontier of having people who are also suffering become the faces and voices of recovery, become the advocates. That's kind of a new phenomenon. Telling our own story, having the courage to tell what we most fear, often is an invitation for others to tell their story, and you might save a life. There's been a great deal of work that has been done in the areas of substance abuse and mental illness, uh, but there's still a stigma attached to it. Unusual for a person with that kind of fame, you know, to be that you know, vulnerable and honest and direct. So I think she's a great example for the high school kids. Um, there were about, I think, six questions about um, people in there, about their own life and people that they knew that were, they were close to. So she, um, that was pretty cool for them to have experience with someone who also experienced the same thing as them. What we're going to do is have subsequent meetings, subsequent programs, and that's what Healthy New Albany is all about.